Outgoing president of the Federated States of Micronesia, David Panuelu, says the islands are witnessing political warfare and increasing influence by China. In a 13-page letter to Micronesian lawmakers that has gripped global attention, Panuelu says China is seeking to ensure that in the event of a war in our Blue Pacific continent between themselves and Taiwan, that the FSM is at best aligned with the PRC instead of the United States, and at worst, that the FSM chooses to abstain altogether. Penuelu says China has been spying from what they say are research vessels within Micronesian territory. He writes, we are aware of PRC activity in our exclusive economic zone, whose purpose includes communicating with other PRC assets so as to help ensure that in the event of a missile or group of missiles ever needed to land a strike on the U.S. territory of Guam, that they would be successful in doing so. When the FSM sent patrol boats to check on the vessels, China warned them to stay away. That's when Panuelo placed a moratorium on Chinese research vessels in the FSM. That's just one of many events the president outlined where China placed pressure on the FSM government to be involved in infrastructure projects, international meetings, and policy decisions. He says China offers bribes to be silent. Penuelo writes that government officials have been given cash, alcohol, and other gifts from China. He writes to lawmakers asking, have you personally received a bribe from the PRC? If the answer is no, you are in the minority. The president now discussing possible diplomatic relations with Taiwan instead of China. He says Taiwan has already made some promises, including continuing all projects that China started. That potential shift coming amid compact of free association negotiations with the White House. He writes, we can play an essential role in preventing a war in our region. We can save the lives of our own Micronesian citizens. We can strengthen our sovereignty and independence, and we can do it while having our country at large benefit financially. Penuelo concluded his letter acknowledging the personal safety risks to him and his family for speaking up. But he says the peace and stability of our nation are more important. Tomas Maglonia, KUAM News.